Of all footprints, that of the elephant is supreme. Of all mindfulness meditations, that on death is supreme. What is born will die. What has been gathered will be dispersed. What has been accumulated will be exhausted. What has been built up will collapse. And what has been high will be brought low. The only thing we really have is nowness, is now. In the West, I found when I came here is that people occupy themselves with so many activities so that they actually have no really or risk of really looking into themselves. And so um, I find this is also a very deeper form of avoidance. At the beginning, the purpose of the point of meditation is just to quietly allow our mind to settle. As I've said in the book, if you want to centralize meditation into, into three words, you see, bringing the mind home, releasing the grasping, and relaxing in your nature. That is to say, if you leave your mind very spaciously, as the very famous Tibetan saying, is that just as water, if you don't stir it, it will become clear, that's the nature of the water. In the same manner, the nature of mind is such, if you do not manipulate, if you do not alter it, if you leave it in a natural state, it will find its peace and its well-being and bliss. I find nature to be a great inspiration. That's why in the ancient traditions of Tibetan Buddhism we use very much like the sky, the ocean, the mountains. These are used, the images of them are used as very much as an inspiration. When the sun shines, you see from on the mountain, the snow melt away. Like that, all our tensions and the graspings are naturally released in the ease of meditation, in the spaciousness. So, if I were to say, essentially, the main thing is to really to ease and to be spacious. The method is not so important. Meditation is often known as the compassion of non-harming. One could say also charity beginning at home, because through meditation, as one's mind, ordinary mind clear, that it means one's ego and concept of oneself dissolves, then one's goodness, or one's fundamental nature, shines forth. That's why meditation becomes very much the preliminary to compassion. Generally in the West, people think of meditation just as a way of just bringing peace of mind. It's not at all. There are deeper levels of consciousness, deeper levels of meditation, which helps to really come to understand the deeper mind. Like, for example, you see, one of the most difficult things we have is emotions. When you work these emotions through meditation, when you work with your emotions, and when you not only work with emotions in a sense of, you see, just being calm, but actually you can overcome them. You can transform them. Just as when you shine a light into the darkness, darkness itself is dissolved. With that very strong understanding of the wisdom nature, when you shine onto the darkness of your emotions, that actually the darkness dissolves and you realize that, that all these negative emotions, anger, desire, are merely illusions. They're only there temporarily, momentarily. And that's something through training. That's why it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. That's why people can meditate for many, many years, but still not really able to remedy these, these conflicting emotions. That's why when you work with emotions, it's the most important thing, to work with that. Once we reach to the state of calm and peace, it's important to remember that if you meditate and practice too long, you might fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's recommended that the beginner should not practice for a very long time should practice only for a few moments, maybe about three or four minutes, and then take a break. And because during the break, you see, you let go of the method of meditation, but you do not let go of the mindfulness. And when you do that, something quite extraordinary is that if you've been trying to meditate and you've been struggling, 
it is at that particular moment when you really let go of the meditation, sometimes quite astoundingly meditation happens then. And so I tease my students saying, those who have difficulty with meditating, they should meditate during the break and have break in the meditation.